Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we'll be discussing about a blog post slash implementation of prompt tuning with Peft. Uh, prompt tuning is similar to fine tuning. Only major difference is we don't touch the foundational model or the base model, any of its parameters. What we do is we add few more layers to the model and which gets trained based on the data set which we pass or the prompt we pass and try to guide the uh, foundational model to learn that particular data set okay so let's go to this particular documentation here what we have in front of us so prompt tuning is an additive fine tuning because we add more layers to it and we try to learn or train on that particular layers okay we don't touch the base model this means that we will not modify any weights of the original model. Okay, so we'll just add, we'll train additional layers that are added to the model. That's why it's called additive technique. Okay, so we understood that we'll just add few more uh, layers to the particular model and then we'll try to what uh, reduce the loss function for that particular layers and we'll try to uh, update the weights of those particular layers. So here those layers are nothing but the prompts that we are passing it okay so uh, just to get uh, dig deeper we are trying to create a type of super prompt by enabling a model to so enabling the model means the model here is refers to the large language model enhance a portion of the prompt so the prompt that we pass so this since it has an acquired knowledge we try to uh, enhance the portion or the prompt so we try to make it into a super prompt okay so here it is as if we have uh, this is expressing ourselves this large language model is expressing it's a master in expressing the uh, prompt into embeddings and this will help us in generating highly qualitative effective prompts okay and during each training cycle the only weights that will be modified and the loss function are those integrated to the prompt so we won't touch any of those weights from the large language model or the foundational model will just update the layers or the weights associated with the prompts so this will do a couple of things one is it will train the number of parameters that will get trained will be small and also since we are not updating the weights of the large language model or the foundational model the uh, knowledge which is uh, stored in these models it will be retained as it is nothing will get affected so this will result in faster and cost effective training that's it so that's the end goal of this whole task itself okay so let's get started with the uh, fine tuning or a prompt tuning as it is said so first what we'll need is a peft uh, library so 0.82 so we'll let's run this and then we'll run the data set so since it has already loaded right it is throwing these errors okay so let me just skip this part I'll just uh, walk you through the notebook okay instead of running it again because I have to restart and then I have to download the data set and also download the model again and again so what I'll do is since I have executed it once I'll just show you what happens in each of the cells okay so we have to what first install the packages which are required for downloading the data set and for creating a prompt fine tuning which is peft and then what we'll do is first we'll take in the uh, model which is your foundational model which is a bloom model we are taking which is of the small size of the smallest size which is 560 million parameters and here we have num virtual tokens that is 4 and epox is equal to 4 so this is associated with the uh, prompts that we pass and it will get added to our base model okay and that during the fine tuning part we'll be running it for 6 epochs and in here if we see here we have a tokenizer corresponding to the bloom filter uh, bloom model what we have and then we also load the uh, language model here okay so once that is done what we do is so first we just pass in a data set uh, pass in a prompt and then see what is the result and then we do fine tune prompt tuning and then see how the result changes okay so here we are creating a function which takes in a model this will be our foundational model or pift model and then this will be the taking us uh, this will be taking in the prompt what we are passing and this is one of the parameters that is while generating the text what is the max new token it has to generate okay 
so this is the function and these parameters are used for um, what the kind of hyper parameters for generating the output text output if you enable them what will happen is uh, it will try to be more creative with respect to the result or the text it is generating okay these are some penalty uh, and the early stopping for during the training part and what is the end token id okay so this is that now uh, coming to what uh, directly what using the bloom uh, model without any fine tuning so here if i just run this it will this is the prompt we are giving and it is passed to the tokenizer tokenizer will generate the input ids and the attention mask corresponding to this particular prompt and that is passed to this get outputs get outputs is nothing but the function which we saw earlier it will take in the foundational model and the input prompt which we got from the tokenizer and what is the max new token you want to generate so we pass in i want you to act as a motivational coach and it has generated this text don't be afraid of being challenged so the output it has generated is reasonable or sensible in this case okay once you find tune this will also be changing up so let's uh, run the next uh, particular next uh, prompt okay so as part of this uh, notebook right what we'll do is we'll load uh, two data set and one foundational model which is a base model nothing but bloom model and we'll try to train two models two peft models okay or two prompt tuning techniques will be applying for two specific task one will be for acting as a motivational coach or another for that another task is two nice things that should matter to you so this is another prompt okay so as part of this if you see uh, if you directly pass that to the foundational model without any fine tuning we get this particular output there are two nice things that should matter to you and it has generated the price and quality of the product so this also makes sense in a certain context this makes sense but yeah let's see when you try to what prompt tune it okay let's see what happens now uh, let's go to the data set part okay so since we are trying to create a prompt tuning model okay that will be a particular data set it has to narrow down on okay so first is the uh, awesome chat gpt prompts is the data set and another is english quotes data set and one uh, this is there will be one model for this particular data set that is another model for this particular data set okay so next part is we import the packages and then we take in the data set and pass it to the tokenizer turn that into input ids and to attention mask and take a 50 sample out of it okay so this is for prompts similarly then so next what we see is what is the features and notes there are 50 records it has these columns like input ids and attention mask and the prompt corresponding to the input and then there is the action so this is one first uh, sample prompt action is linux terminal prompt is this is the prompt and then this is the input ids and this is the attention mask okay now this is for chat gpt prompts data set similar thing is created for english quotes what we do is uh, we again pass it to the tokenizer and then we take in the training samples of 25 and we remove certain columns which are not required like author and tags okay and if you look at the display there is only quotes input ids and attention mask total number of records are 25 rows now we have uh, created our sample data set for the two models that we want to prompt tune okay so one is the sentences from which is nothing but quotes the other is prompts now comes the fine tuning part which is prompt tuning here so first from the uh, peft model we import get peft model this will help us in generating a peft model and the configuration that we need to pass is for prompt tuning okay so the task type what we want to do is we want to generate text and what are the tokens that we have how it has to be initialized the number of tokens we have to uh, generate and then we have tokenizer name slash that is the base model that we are going to use for the prompt tuning and here 
So once we have executed this configuration, generate configuration with the pass this generation configuration along with the foundational model and get our PEFT model. So we will be passing the same generation config for both uh, prompt and also for the quotes. In this uh, here it is given as sentences, it's quotes. Okay. So once we pass that, we'll in the PEFT model we can see the number of trainable parameters. Okay, since it is prompt tuning, the configuration we have passed is for prompt tuning. Okay, the whatever the additional layers or tokens we have added, it will be only retraining on that. Okay, so the number of total trainable parameters are reduced to 4096 and total number of parameters which is 550 million something what we have seen. This is related to Bloom model and this is totally overall the percentage of parameters that is getting trained is this amount of percentage is getting trained for model prompt and similarly it is done the same for model sentences as well. We pass in the foundational model and generation configuration and get our trainable parameters, total parameters and what is the percentage of parameters that is getting trained or fine tuned on. So next we have our uh, PEFT models is, okay then what we have is we are trying to create a configuration for training. So where you want to train where you want to store the model and you want to use the CPU or not and if there is how to set the batch size uh, we are keeping the auto find batch size is equal to true so based on the availability of memory it will create the batches and we also pass the learning rate and epochs this is our training config and here we try to generate a uh, create uh, folders if it is available or not according to that it will create the folders now comes the part where we are uh, creating training arguments okay and we pass in the directory and we create passing the learning rate and the number of epochs for both prompt and the quotes or sentences in this case and then these arguments are passed to the trainer create trainer so let's go to the training part so here is a trainer object where we have our model we pass the model and the configuration the training configuration which we created here and then data set and how you want to manage the data with the for the language model so we are passing that as well those configuration is passed here and next is we create a trainer for the prompt model okay this is the first model okay on a prompt data set and this is the second model on the English quotes data set. So here if you see we pass the PEFT model prompt and then training argument corresponding to it and the data set and then we again for the sentences we also pass the PEFT model sentences and the training arguments for that and the sample sentences and we train and we can see uh, all the other metrics here like what is the runtime 26 seconds uh, what is the training steps took and what is the loss and the number of epochs okay all those details can be seen here for both the two models first model for prompt for second model for the quotes or sentences and next we are saving it to the particular directory which we have created earlier next what we do is we do something called as inference we pass in our again the same inputs i want you to be a motivational coach what is going to happen so here if we see uh, load model prompt from pre-trained foundational model we pass the output directory and it has to load from and then devices auto automatically it will select the device for loading the model and is it trainable so we are not going to train the model so we are keeping it as false now once we have loaded this model then we are passing the input prompt and then we are again generating the sentence so in this case what we have seen is this is not uh, generating as great as what it is supposed to okay let me run this again so yeah so i have earlier if you see it was just a simple i am going okay which is not very uh, what a great output for this particular prompt tuning so if you see now again i want you to act as a motivational coach you can use this method if you are feeling anxious about your life or trying something. So it has generated something related to what motivational kind of a sentence, right? So it is able to generate that. Now similar thing is done for sentences or quotes as well. 
okay where you have again we are loading the uh, load prompt uh, model loaded prompt model and then we pass in the sentences adapter is quotes and set adapter is equal to quotes okay so here what we do is uh, again we are doing the same what we have done earlier here so we are doing that again here the prompt model the input sentences and then we see the new uh, text generation that is happening so there are two nice things that should matter to you the weather and your health so it is a lot better sentence or a generation text compared to the earlier one which is product and price and quality of the product was the earlier what was generated so after prompt tuning we get this as the result now with this right we have understood uh, using just the prompt okay under data set and just adding few more layers for based on those prompts we are able to retrain the model okay so what i uh, when i have executed this particular on google collab it took uh, around 30 seconds to train the model for the prompt data set and for this particular data set for with respect to the course it took only like less than 10 seconds for retraining so you can also try this particular uh, technique for tuning a model okay for a particular task and let's see the hope the results will improve okay with that i'll just stop this particular session here yeah, thank you